Hey, I'm Bruce, also known as Coach Blue Star. Today, I'm going to be showing you a few games that I like to do with my kids. I work with Skyhawk Sports Academy, and there I learned a few games. I picked up some information along the way, um, and I hope to spread that information to you so I can be a help, so I can be an encouragement to help you be a successful coach. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Our first game here is called Strike Attack. The name of the game, again, Strike Attack, and the aim of the game is to get your ball, and here I'm using some squishy balls, um, you can use dodge balls, footballs, um, even soccer balls, depending on what sport you're doing, and the aim of the game, again, is to knock down the cone. I set up the cones, uh, four on each side, four right here, and four on this side, and then you have one in the back right over here. Now, again, if I'm on this side, my goal is to knock down this team's cones over here. Now, I cannot cross my line. If I cross my line, that's a penalty, that's cheating, that's not what we're doing. But I'm back here, I cannot cross this imaginary line, and my goal is to knock down one of their cones. How you win is, if you knock down their front four, that's a win, but if you knock down the cone in the back, which I call the mega cone, that cone is an automatic win and therefore that's how the game is played. Now you can block, but you cannot stand in front of the cone, right? You can only stand behind it. You can use your foot, one foot, one foot, or you can use your hands like this, and that's how you play the game. Again, strike attack, and the goal is to get the ball, try to knock down a cone, just like that. See if I can get another one, just like that. Um, works with all ages, depending on uh, who you got, what you have. Um, you can spread out the cones a little further. You can add a few more cones to make it a little more challenging. Uh, for the younger kids, what I like to do too is that if it's too far away, the cones, let's say, you know, I'm playing with uh, really young kids, um, you know, their arm doesn't go that far. What I allow them to do then, uh, they can take three steps, uh, one, two, three, basically in the middle line, and they're allowed to get a little bit closer to take a shot and try and knock down that cone. Um, it's a really fun game. Kids get really into it. I enjoy it. I know the other coaches enjoy it too. Um, it's a game you can play over and over um, again um, to challenge them. You know, you can switch sides. You can uh, make sure, you know, teams are even, um, give them challenges. You know, if a young kid scores a, a goal, you know, they get an extra point, um, whatever there. But yeah, a game. This game is called Strike Attack. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. This next game is called Knockdown. This one is one of my favorite ones. Um, I learned it maybe about two years ago, but it's a really good game. Uh, keeps kids energized, can be used for, again, many different sports. Um, and you can just adapt it to uh, a lot of things to help kids learn. Uh, but again, this one's called Knockdown, and let me show you how it's done. So, you have two hula hoops, right, and some cones. Basically, what I'm gonna do, cone down, and I'm gonna use two cones right now just because these are light I don't want to get knocked down with the wind just right there right in the middle I'm gonna get this hula hoop put it down right here two cones right in the middle I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully you can perfect I think you can let's see yeah we do all right so this game is called knockdown uh, the aim of the game is another knockdown game to knock down the cone so how it's played if you have let's say three players each side, right? So my team is over here, their team's over there. I cannot run with this ball. The only way I'm able to advance the ball is if I'm able to throw it to some one of my teammates um, on my side, they're able to catch it and they have to stop. And the way you advance it again, the other team has got as close as they can to the cone. When they get close enough, then they can go and take a shot and knock down that cone, which I didn't there, I didn't hit it hard enough. Um, you cannot step inside the hula hoop. That's the barrier around it. So that um, if you do, it's a penalty, that's cheating. So you don't want to do that. Um, that's really, that's really basically it. Um, it's how you play the game. Uh, you cannot strip the ball. You can intercept the ball. Um, if the ball touches the floor, let's say you throw it to a teammate, boom, they drop it. All right, you know, you can allow one drop. Um, I don't allow diving for the ball. You know, a lot of times uh, the kids will run and dive for the ball. Uh, just not safe, uh, so I don't do that. Um, 
again, if the ball, you know, goes out of bounds, you can set a barrier uh, to where you're going to play. And uh, if the ball goes out of bounds, maybe they'll switch to the other team. Um, it's all about adapting. But basically, I'm just here to show you, um, you know, the basics of the game. So that, that's, that's how that's played. Um, trying to think whatever else. So one of the things I learned is uh, this thing called fun, fair, safe, and simple. Um, you know, it, it can work when you're teaching kids, um, when you're demonstrating games, when you're doing games. And uh, so first off, you ask that question, hey, is this game fun? Are the kids having fun? Are they engaged? Is it a fair game? Am I, you know, are the teams even? Do I have a bunch of older kids and a bunch of young kids on one side? That's not fair. All right, let's make it fair. Um, is it safe? You know, am I marking off the boundaries that I need to mark off? Um, obviously, there's no divots over here, but if there's like a big hole, um, I don't want anybody to twist their ankle. I'm not going to set up in a place where it's all muddy. Um, you know, is it safe? And then simple. Am I explaining the game simple enough to where the kids don't get overwhelmed with rules? Um, I think that's a big thing there. Um, you want to keep it as simple as possible. And throughout the game, you can introduce new rules um just so they get the hang of it and it'll be you know a better experience for them uh but yeah this game's called knockdown one of my favorite games um adults play it um i like to play it myself um i personally think it should be like a professional sport uh that's how that's how much i like it um but yeah on to our on to our third so game we're guys. here for our last game this one is called pinball a really super simple game um Basically, this is the setup right here. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have three cones, um, and this I just put another one on a set on that side uh, just to show you that there's gonna be multiple sets for multiple kids. You're gonna have one partner stand on this side of the cone, right over here, just facing this way. You're gonna have the other one of the kids facing this way on this side, and their goal, you guessed it, is to knock down that middle cone. Now. This uh, is mainly used, um, that I've used it for. Um, I used it for baseball, soccer, football. Basically, you're trying to help them to learn how to aim, learn how to pick a target and throw at that target, kick at that target. Um, and this is how the game's played. So, if you're on this side, my teammate is on that other side right over there. Same thing over here, partner over here, partner on that side. And coach says, hey, all right, so your goal is to knock down that middle cone with your partner, let's say seven times. Okay, so now you know um, the first team to get to knock down the cone seven times is the winner, right? And even if you don't play the game, you know, practice. So I would start off with practice, all right. So I'm gonna start off, let's say with a bigger ball. I know I'm jumping around here, guys, but uh, just bear with me. So a bigger ball, just to help them out if they're not ready for the, you know, the softball yet, they can use that bigger ball. But we say go, I throw the ball. Oh, I missed it. All right, it's gonna go back to the other partner. Other partner's gonna try again over here. Let's see if they can get it. Boom, they got it, that's one point. All right, so now they got one point. And it keeps going on, just like that, until that team reaches that seven point mark or whatever point mark you set it out to be. Um, after that, I like to switch partners, um, usually just rotate, all right, if you're on this side, go to this side, go to this side, go to this side, go to this side. That way everybody has um, a different partner every time, and um, it's a good game to keep it fun and keep it going. Um, again, this works at aiming. A lot of these games are aiming, um, and they're very helpful, like that knockdown game um, that we did earlier, I just wanna to touch back on that. Again, that could be used for football, that could be used for soccer. Um, the first game in the beginning, you can use soccer ball instead of a football, instead of a dodgeball, um, just so they can get a better aim, get a better grip on things. Um, but yeah, that game's called pinball. Uh, again, really fun game, a uh, really good one with younger kids uh, to challenge them, you know, when you wanna level them up, spread the cones out a bit, make it a bigger distance so that they have a, have a better challenge. Um, and again, uh, just a word of advice, coaching tip, you don't want to burn out these games. You know, if the kids find it really super engaging, great, that's fantastic. Um, you know, but let them, um, you know, have to uh, have to earn that again, um, you know, because you don't want to burn out your game, right? You know, it's super fun, great, but you don't want to burn out the game because then it's just going to waste. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. Uh, this is my first take on one of these videos, so uh, bear with me. I'm going to get better at it. And uh, if you have any questions, um, any concerns, any comments, uh, yeah, feel free to drop them by. 
um, drop them down below and uh, I'll get back to you 100% and we can talk. Um, yeah, sorry, quite loud with that mic. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Coach Blue Star again, and I am out.